In this video, I'm going to show you how you can print out individual calendars for your employees based on your Excel worksheet. Now, this Excel, Excel worksheet I have created with a macro, but um, it's basically they're working four on and two off, and then we've rotated the shift so that you have enough people covering all the time. There's another type of shift for the last two people on, the, on this uh, employers, and they work three on and three off. Now, you'd like to be able to print out individual uh, calendars so that the employee through employee one would know when they're working in the next three months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the employee and I am going to click on individual calendar. <clears throat> and there you have the days that they're working. So he, they work four to start with and two off. So those are the days that they're working for the next three months. Now, Let's try another one. Um, so this, uh, the second employee, they were start, um, they're on two and off, off two and then on four. So let's try that in an individual calendar. And here we, they're on two, they're on two and off two, off two and then on four. So now let's try one more just because we have the different shift. So let's go down to employee 13 and they're on three and off three. So let's click on this one. And there you go, they're on, uh, on three, then off three. Okay, let me show you how I did it. Now, first of all, um, I also included, if you end up printing this out, it'd be nice to know, there's nowhere on the place where it's saying that it's employee 13. And so let's go to print preview. So let's go file and print and there you have employee 13 is at the top there. So you, you would know that this was whatever employee 13's name was, would be in there. It's taking it from the original schedule. schedule. So let's go back. Now I'm gonna show you how I did this. The first thing I did was I created the blank calendar that I'm copying that I can fill out for each of the individuals on my list. And now let's pull up the VBA. And so the first one I'm going to show you is my work four days. And so basically I am telling it um, to for, for January, for example, I'm going from row three to row eight and I'm going um, for next the columns and I'm going from C1 to C7. So that is where it's going to go in, ja in January. Then I'm calling four days. Now um, for four days, what I'm doing is I'm, um, if count is less than or equal to one, or if I'm less than or equal to three, so I'm starting with the first, the first four days that are red. Now, um, color index three is, is red, and then I include, increase the count. Now, for day four and five, now you just have to add one to make it, uh, to make it for the six days, and so, the color index is two, which is white. So I have included every every four days or every six days, you have four, four red and two white. And that's that's how we do that. Now to put it on individual calendars, what I'm going to do is go to the next one and I call it um, individ, individual calendar. Um, D name is the name that is um, that is selected here. So in um so the d name is your employee employee one and that's what i put in my um when i put in in my header so that you have the employee one name on the top of the sheet okay r is the active cell row and so then i have i have each of these different rows the first r 7 10 13 are the four on and the four off, the uh, eight, 11, 14, and 17 are work. They work two on and two off, right? And then do the four. And then nine and 12 and the other ones start with two off and uh, four on after that. And so depending on the row that they're, lip, they're situated on, I call the different macros. And then of course, for the last, uh, the last one or two, I have two separate ones. So for R19, call on three, off three. And then for R20, I call off three, on three. 
So I will, of course, include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.